you said, my name is Rogier Bomsluiter. And I'm a business consultant, uh, business intelligence uh, consultant actually by uh, Clouding Company. Um, I will give you today this uh, intro in Einstein Analytics. Um, the subject is too large to touch everything in this webinar, but uh, I will do more than my best uh, to give you a good idea of what the power of Einstein Analytics actually is. Um, yeah, we're focusing today on the financial force business analytics and final financial statements uh, packages that are the out of the box dashboards, which is uh, which financial force delivers on top of the, the Einstein analytics platform. So that gives us a good opportunity to show uh, this dashboards as well, as well the power of, uh, of Einstein analytics. So Einstein is Salesforce advanced analytics platform. So it's an add on to your core sales and service cloud. And it also allows, of course, to bring your data from example for the sales cloud, service cloud, program service automation, financial force accounting. You can bring all that data into the analytics uh, platform and also allows you to, to take third party data in, uh, in the platform if you want to. Uh, once you have it uh, there in your platform, you can do all kinds of data explorations and develop dashboards where you can slice and dice, drill through data, just as you wish to gain the insights uh, you needed. And what's even more cool about uh, this is these dashboards you can make actionable. So you're finding your insights, you can actually make sure you act on the insights as well. So that's a very powerful, uh, powerful environment. Um, now further, Einstein Analytics enables, uh, enables you to quickly perform strong visual uh, analysis um, from different dimensions. Um, you have it in one dashboard without clicking through uh, several individual reports. So all the information is just a few mouse clicks uh, away. You can quickly turn data into actionable information and predictable insights that have some very good uh, yeah, functionality for that on board. And it's easy to drill down into a record uh, level for, right from the dashboard. And also uh, the, you have the possibility to, to, to directly ask questions to your, uh, to your data. I will demo that uh, in, a, in a few minutes. So uh, you can take the actions right from the from the from the uh, from the dashboard. It's a powerful chart. It has a collaboration and action framework with notifications, annotations. It offers a full dynamic mobile device experience. So you're able to collaborate on any device which you are with your colleague, with your colleagues in your organizations. And it has a beautiful uh, visualization technology. So it's actually a great tool for end users uh, where they can make their own uh, their own uh, dashboards uh, very easily when you have uh, the good uh, data sets. All right. Um, yeah, what we see here in front is uh, is a total cloud ERP uh, chain. What we hit in the in the webinar before uh, as well. Uh, yeah, you see here the platform with all the Salesforce products and the, and the financial uh, product, the financial force products in between of uh, that to 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 collaborate on the on the on the on the platform in a total ERP uh, cloud-based uh, solution. And what we see on top of this is uh, the Einstein Analytics uh, layer. And on this layer, uh, and that is what we can uh, focus on today, uh, offers financial force. Uh, their business analytics packages and financial statements packages. So this is the dashboards that they built on top of uh, the Einstein Analytics uh, platform. So a little bit more in detail, what 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 the offerings uh, are in in those packages. As mentioned today, we're focusing on the financial force business analytics and financial statements. Um, these are the out of the box packages, uh, which are uh, which, which Financial Force delivers. Uh, here, Financial Force uh, has taken the the Einstein technology and used it to to build out a financial statement, financial analytics, and the PSA analytics. So, if you look to the financial statements, these are those reports which your accountant is delivering on a regular basis. It's like the income sheet, the P and L reports, uh, trial balances. Um, 
The second piece, which called, uh, which is called the financial analytics, this is more visual interesting. And this is where Financial Force has done the hard work on the back end. They, they, they pre-built data sets and also deliver some uh, yeah, pre-built re- uh, dashboards on this. And uh, the financial analytics gives the customers the self-service capabilities to play uh, with the data, to slice and dice, to drill into the data, to look at things like revenue, DSO, cash, and, and understand the data which, uh, which is um, presented on the balance sheet. The business analytics packages also contains the analytics dashboards, the PSA analytics dashboard. And uh, this will give insights in KP, KPIs like the billings, the bill rates, the backlog, utilizations, forecast, and that kind of things. But uh, let's demo this. I am now in Einstein Analytics Studio. Here you'll find the Financial Force Business Analytics and Statement apps. Here we have the PayZ, here we have FFM, here we have our financial statement apps. Clicking on this one, we find here our dashboards and here are data sets. This is the data source of our dashboards of lenses. Here we find our lenses. This is our wall bunch. Um, this is all what Financial Force delivers within their packages. And these are all pre-built reports which are in the yeah, in the standard packages. So back to our dashboard, starting with the, with the balance sheet. Here is an example of uh, our balance uh, sheet. This is built out uh, on the fly from transactional data. In the right, you always have this concept of uh, filters. So I have my currency here, currency code, the concept of multiple companies is supported here. I could filter on the company where I'm uh, responsible uh, for. Uh, what you also see here is uh, what you can filter on periods, year periods or periods, monthly periods, and also include and uh, exclude uh, some from, of the special uh, periods. I'm close uh, the filter just so we've got better view to the space. What you see here is a balance sheet. It's not visual interesting because it's not supposed to be right. Rows and columns uh, deliver the information as quick uh, as possible. The most interesting part here is the ability to drill, drill directly in the to the transaction. What do I have this year versus last year for cash in my Canadian organization? I'm a little bit concerned about that number. So I directly go and drill to the transaction. I see here various transactions. I'm just going to look at this one here. I'm open this record. As you can see, I can directly at the transactional data. That is something that you would never be able to do inside the spreadsheet. I can see exactly where the cash entry came from. It came from my Prestige Worldwide customer. You can take this down to an individual invoice level, something that people spent millions of dollars on to try this to do in uh, data warehouses and most frequently fill with this. With Einstein Analytics, this can be offered out of the box. I can also show income statements. You get the same ideas, still the same thing about around filters holding here. I can drill the transactions. Um, yeah, you see, uh, it's the kind of the, the same uh, setup uh, as the balance sheet. But uh, let me show you something a little more visual interesting. So I will open the CFO overview in the Financial Force Analytics app. Starting with uh, the CFO overview, by clicking on it, we access the landing page where we see uh, actually eight KPIs divided over two tabs. This dashboard tracks the trend of uh, eight KPIs. On the profitability tab, we have revenue KPI, gross margin, operating expenses, and EBITDA. On the balance sheet, we have accounts receivable, day sales outstanding, accounts payable, cash and equivalents. Uh, you see the trend of last year versus this year. Here you see the actual of this month, the current month. 
Here you see the variance, variances, the relative and the absolute variances between current month and uh, same month last year. The displayed values are controlled by the filter, again on the right side uh, of uh, the dashboard screen here. So again, we have uh, companies uh, which, which we can select. We can uh, select the currencies. Uh, we can select the frequency. Notice that I also can select uh, monthly year to date. And you see updating the, the graphs uh, on the dashboard. Oh, you can uh, select uh, special periods, monthly periods. And what we also can do, we can change the comparison from previous year to budget. So it's also possible in this setup to, to compare it with, uh, with the budget. Uh, clicking on view details launches the CFO details dashboard. This shows a more comprehensive breakdown of each of these key PIs. Uh, this enables you to analyze the data with, uh, with more detail. So you can navigate here between the different tabs to the details of each uh, of those KPIs. So suppose I am a CFO and I like to have more insights in the revenue, then let's click on revenue. We see monthly trend of the revenue versus last year on this tab. Uh, there are four charts on the revenue tab, which each report about the revenue. On the right side, uh, again, uh, this uh, filter area. Let's also uh, adjust this to uh, monthly year to date. In uh, the drop down of the, the donor chart here, we have all fields of uh, reporting balances uh, available. This allowing us to choose the dimension we want to analyze our data by. So I will select, uh, for example, dimension three. Uh, what I also can do here, select the view, select the view in the drop down. If I'm only interested in the top five or ten, Einstein Analytics makes use of uh, faceting functionality. Uh, this means uh, that you can drill in uh, in context. Um, in this case, when I click on uh, department. You notice that the data data changes is uh, only specific to uh, to that uh, department. Uh, now to remove that uh, the filter functionality, click somewhere outside of the chart, and you see the filters are again set back. Each chart also enables us to dive deeper into data, which enables us to undertake the right uh, actions. When I click uh, on, on account name and then view details here, then I open up the data from the account that making up the sales here. Uh, using again the arrow next to the transaction in the line item, I open the record uh, and I dive into the record that, uh, that give me details about who is uh, generating the sales. Okay, clicking back to summary. For example, click on the recent chart, and when I'm click here on Americas, uh, then we see we have more dimension selectors on this heat map. Um, so when I change that to city by account name, then now we see a heat map showing my account and the cities in which those accounts are located in. And now moving back to, um, to the CFO overview. Um, yeah, notice prof profitability here is uh, all uh, GLA-based uh, stuff. Uh, the balance sheet contains uh, ERP-related KPIs. So um, let's click on uh, account receivable. I can see here where the money is coming from. Let's take the account Gildas Associates and see directly the money that's coming from them. I can here see when the money came in. Um, I also can set a notification. So I can enter here, notify me when that period equals, uh, uh, let's say a certain trust fund value. And I can run on a regular basis. So I'm constantly being notified when certain conditions are hit. 
Uh, this is all taking advantage of the, the core platform capabilities from, uh, from the Salesforce platform. I am also able to set uh, annotation over here. So on the right hand side, I can write something to somebody of my team. For this example, I can send an annotation to my CFO. At CFO, check this numbers. And I can attach uh, this uh, screenshot uh, with this in this message. And when he is also on the platform, uh, this will be an interactive uh, graph. Okay, what's also is interesting to show you is the profitability uh, trend dashboard. So this CFO profitability trend uh, dashboard, this enables you to view a prediction uh, of the key metrics and that's based on historical data. Um, we see here that the dashboard gives us the option to uh, to view the trend prediction for uh, revenue and uh, the operating cost KPIs. Um, you can see here that each uh, trend prediction chart is uh, is based on uh, on a monthly period. Um, for this trend prediction, it's uh, recommended uh, to to have at least two years of uh, of historical data available. This, this is in order to let uh, Einstein elaborate a good trend prediction uh, for the KPIs. This is necessary for uh, within this uh, time series uh, functionality. Um, the trend model enables us to, uh, yeah, to, 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 to review the results generated by the, by the algorithm. If you check here to the orange dash line, this is uh, representing the, the future prediction against the historical performance. Um, if you check the blue line here, this is the, the actual historical performance. And the dark orange line, this represents the forecast trend of the, the revenue, which Einstein has derived of the historical patterns. Notice also the orange shade area. This is known as the, the conf confidence level. This is based on the statistical algorithms, uh, which are applied in, uh, in these uh, prediction functionality. So if you have cons consistent data in your org, uh, what is following a regular pattern, the, the more likely it is that this KPI will follow the trend in the future. Notice also that on top you can switch between uh, those, yeah, that you can switch between two confidence uh, levels. And also notice that uh, seasonality is uh, selected on the, on the dashboard. Seasonality allows you to include or exclude the seasonal influences in uh, the time series predictive analysis. You can see also here that we have the 12 uh, forecasting periods uh, available. So you are able to forecast your revenue 12 months forward in, uh, in time. Let's now switch to the program service automation analytics app. And I click on the PSA overview. This launches my PSA overview dashboard. And we see that we have here six KPIs, the bill rate, the billings, the backlog, total utilization, forecast, and the remaining capacity. When I click on the view details, I am going to the to the more detailed uh, breakdown of uh, those billings, uh, this billings KPI. And here I can analyze uh, the data by region, practice and group. Here we see the, the billing rate uh, by a month. Uh, we see actually three months. If we want to have more months, we can uh, use uh, this filter. Uh, when I choose current fiscal year, all the data is being updating uh, the fly. Uh, now we see that uh, there's a difference uh, in the last couple of months uh, between uh, scheduled and actual, a quite uh, big dev difference if you uh, compare it with, uh, with, uh, with the last months. So uh, this is good uh, for a salesman or a program manager to be uh, to be aware of and to, to take further actions on this. 
Okay, you see the the billings. Uh, it, it's also linked to uh, to accounts. So you see what is built and what is scheduled uh, for that uh, account. This billings also linked to uh, project, resource, and program manager. So you can, there are different dimensions where you can analyze the data by. Watch also this button over here. This is a very powerful ability. You can you can have a directly conversation with your data. So when I give in here, uh, show me the total billable hours and billable value, then yeah, you also see that uh, that Einstein gives you all kinds of other suggestions. But you can, by one click, you get a you get a directly answer from uh, from your data. So it's very powerful. So you don't you don't need to to, uh, to have knowledge of the of the query languages. Um, you can directly uh, ask your question. So it's a very powerful uh, function. Uh, what's also very powerful is when you have a graph like this. Uh, for instance, the billings by account uh, graph. Then you have the, the ability uh, under the, the arrow sign to explore the data as well. And then you go directly into the, the query designer. And you can bring up here nail dimensions. You can choose from all the dimensions uh, of, of in this in this case, these are uh, measures. You can bring up the measures uh, which are available in this uh, in this data set. You can do that also for, for the measures uh, which are in this uh, data set. So you can very easily and quickly deep dive uh, in uh, into the data from from the dashboard. Um, now some small did there I can I can tell a lot uh, about this uh, environment, but I only limited uh, me to 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 this functionality. So what what's interesting here? You have all kind of uh, graphs where you can choose uh, where you can choose from, and check this. This is suggested charts. Einstein suggested you a couple of charts depending of your data you have selected in your query window. So it's also very powerful and it saves time. Uh, it, it, it enables you to, to, to build uh, on, uh, to, build, to build your analysis uh, very quickly. Okay, switching back to the, to the PSA uh, overview, going into the backlog. So I'm now in the in the in the backlog uh, analysis. So I can start to look at my backlog and I can see if it's done by a specific group, a specific practice, a specific region. Uh, so I will adjust uh, this filter if I can bring in to, to see if I can bring in more data. And I will use the relative filter and filter data from one month ago to three months uh, ahead of today. So let's click now there where the project status is in red. Maybe we have some specific uh, backlogs by stage. So now are we looking at sales, uh, Salesforce data? Or maybe uh, we have a specific project manager that is really holding up uh, things right here. You can see this program manager has a huge amount on his backlog. So maybe we need to reallocate some of his work to these other uh, people to make sure that uh, all uh, deliverables is uh, is getting uh, are, are getting uh, delivered on uh, on time this graph i can uh, drill through the the project as well so i can see uh, which uh, projects are hit here and also i have all the details of those projects uh, available in in this uh, details uh, part of the screen and uh, again here also the ability to to switch to the to the record in uh, in salesforce okay switch back to the utilization tab so we're now at the utilization uh, analysis now we can look also at uh, at the psa from a utilization standpoint and start to understand for example who are the most utilized people where are they at what practice what group uh, we can also break it down by resources by roles and check here uh, to, to, yeah, we, and we can check here, do we need specific roles that are uh, overutilized? So maybe the conclusion can be here that we need to, to go and add and hire some people that have uh, that have that skill we needed uh, in that place in time. So uh, quickly switching to the remaining capacity. So yeah, we see here, this have the same layout as the other ones. Um, here we see the scheduled hours versus the remaining hours. 
which can analyze by the same dimensions we just have uh, hit in the other in the other dashboards. Okay, I'd like to switch back uh, with you to uh, to the slide uh, deck. So, after we've seen this demo, I would like to go through uh, some of the key concepts that we have to remember. Uh, I've put them in this overview. There are more, but this is just a depth I want to uh, I want you to be aware of for today. So you can bring in third party data. So if we look over here, we have our databases. You can pull this third party uh, data into the platform. We also have our CSV files. A lot of customers actually use CSV files. And of course, we can bring in our Salesforce and financial force data into the platform. We do that in what we call the data flow. And in the data flow, we are extracting data. Data flow is a set of instructions that specifies what data to extract from Salesforce objects or data sets and how to transform these. We do these actions uh, in order to get the data uh, formed in the way that we are needed. And then as final step, we register it uh, into a data set. This data set contains your measures and your dimensions. And that's where you're doing all your explorations from. And it's also the basis for all your reports and dashboards. Recipes enables end users to create a new data set based on the existing data set you have made. Here, uh, the end users can uh, enrich the data, transform the data by pre-built uh, transformation sets. So once uh, you have a single exploration, uh, that actually becomes the lens. So that's what you see here in the in the middle. And a collection of all those explorations together is what we call a dashboard. And in all these elements, as you are seeing, the data set, the lenses and the dashboard, they are placed within an analytic app. And that is where you can find all your elements and control your security uh, as well. All right, enough uh, about uh, these concepts. Um, let hit some uh, differences between uh, Einstein analytics and uh, standard reporting. So what we have in Einstein analytics um, is we have uh, the possibility to do analytics, dive deeper into your data, come directly to actionable insights. Um, you can also do the, the, the time series where you can, uh, where you can um, elaborate predictive insights. You can report from multiple objects. Uh, in standard reporting, you are limited to uh, to uh, to use three uh, objects which you can join. And Einstein Analytics is as long as there is a relationship, you can uh, you can combine uh, those objects in order to get a, a, a full blown data set where you can do your analysis uh, on. It also allows you to do complex uh, calculations. Uh, it delivers powerful data visualization, also non chart widgets. Uh, which you can uh, use in your dashboard, for uh, for example, for 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 uh, for navigation uh, functionalities. You have a full dynamic uh, mobile device experiences. You can use Einstein Analytics on any uh, mobile deal of the device and interact uh, with uh, with the data, and also collaborate with your with your uh, with your colleagues um, and your partners. Uh, by sharing dashboard and also set notifications and all the annotations and that kind of things. You have the faceting and drill down functionality. Faceting was uh, yeah, the, the, the ability to, to drill in context. And yeah, what we also saw in the demo, you have the ability to directly uh, talk with your data, uh, ask questions uh, to, uh, to your data. So it's also a very powerful uh, very powerful ability. Um, so last but not least, a few Einstein analytics takeaways. So yeah, combining your external data with your Salesforce or financial force data, uh, you can deploy and customize Einstein analytics uh, on, uh, on apps, um, build uh, trend graphs, that kind of things, embedded your analytics in your, uh, in your console, use the mobile app, Seamless integration, of course, with Financial Force and Salesforce. A very powerful and flexible uh, uh, data mo modeling. So it's very easy uh, yeah, to come to, uh, to a data set uh, which helps you uh, with, by doing your analysis. Quickly perform strong visual analysis. Also, 
It has powerful chart abilities, easy to drill down into the record level, take right action from the from the dashboard, uh, collaboration action uh, framework to collaborate with uh, with partners and, uh, and, and colleagues. And uh, yeah, what we just also hit uh, the, the ability to ask direct questions. And also important, the data is based on transactions and not on aggregate data. So you have always the possibility to dive into the most detailed record, to get that specific information, what you need for your, for your use case. Okay, thank you for joining us today with this webinar of Einstein Analytics. Uh, I don't see any questions in the, in the chat, but feel free uh, to ask uh, your, your question on this moment. If you have any. Okay, great. If there are no questions, uh, then uh, I will wish you a very nice day and I hope uh, that you enjoyed the, the webinar and uh, to see you next time at the next webinar about Einstein Analytics. Thank you very much. Have a great day.